Hello. Hi. Howdy, Liz. Hi. Oh, you know this. <laughs> Amazing. I haven't been watching the stream. How's it going? It's been going pretty good. What topic do you want to do? Okay, so dealer's choice. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. Amazing. <laughs> Love that this is your birthday. Love this for you. Um, so we have dealer's choice and topics. I mean, I can monologue about a lot of things and bore and irritate a lot of people. So I figured I would pick some topics that are actually things that I know about and are good that you might also be interested in. So do you want your options? Yes. All right. So we have my pet adoption story of Aldi, who is here somewhere. Um, we can talk about the 1954 movie musical Oklahoma. We can talk about a defunct McDonald's mascot, or we can talk about a true Northampton queer history person. Hmm. It's a hard pick between the last two, but I'm going to go with the defunct McDonald's mascot. Awesome. Perfect. Yeah. Amazing. So it's the 1980s, right? Yes. And there is a battle between all of the different um, fast food chains, McDonald's, Wendy's, Burger King. Wendy's does the where's the beef. Um, Burger King is doing like their flame broiled patty thing is the way that they're trying to like differentiate themselves from the competition. And McDonald's tries to play the card of, um, <clears throat> this is a restaurant for adults mm -hmm. who can come here in the evenings and enjoy a meal after their time out together. And the way in which they try to do that is by debuting a new mascot named Mac Tonight. Have you heard of Mac Tonight? I haven't. He's just this like creepy lounge dancer or like lounge singer. And I'm there's find a picture um, and put it up. Yeah, Keep going. Yeah, pull, him up. pull him up. He's great. Okay. And they're, they like rip off this like, uh, like fifties doo-wop song and make it about like going to McDonald's and like making it Mac tonight because they're going to have like a Mac lounge and all this stuff with like nice leather seating. That's like only open during a certain like, time in the evening and this character was featured in all these commercials and he has like a big moon head you might have seen him he probably like looks familiar he has like yeah. a, big moon, a moon head and he has like a like uh just like evening wear like he's at like a piano singing <laughs> he has glasses on yeah, he has glasses on. I don't know if Twitch will allow me to sing the theme song because, you know, 7 seconds of copyrighted material will get the federal government at your front door or whatever on Twitter. What are the lyrics? They sing, uh, come on, make it Mac tonight. But there's a whole, like, it's like a whole, like, lounge song that, like, leads up to that moment. But the insane part of, like, this whole thing is that the dude who plays Mac tonight and is in the costume and in the commercials is the same person who plays... Abe Sapien and the fish man in the Guillermo del Toro movie where like the fish has sex with that lady. What? It's like, it's like so, one of his first, it's like one of his first roles on screen is being this like McDonald's mascot. And if you watch the commercial, he like, he moves in a way that you're like, Oh my God, this dude has been, cause he was like a mime in college and then like landed this McDonald's job. That's so interesting. So he's so he's he's like not like a traditional kind of actor. He's kind of a weirdo. I never I haven't seen that movie. I'm gonna watch that movie later now. Now that I know it's this. actually quite good. It won an Oscar, didn't it? Win the best Oscar. <laughs> it won the best Oscar for best movie. Oscar worthy situation. <laughs> I think it's the name of that category. So, so McDonald's is like we should be sexy. <laughs> yeah well like not only like sexy but like uh like suitable for adults like a place that is an appropriate restaurant for these adults who have had a night on the town and need to unwind in a public space which is like yeah agreed yeah that's what i think of mcdonald's anyway yeah it's really an it's like a it's an after the bar <laughs> 
<laughs> That's so interesting. Why a moon? Just because it's nighttime? Yeah, so it's like it. The song ends with them saying, "Come on, make it Mac tonight." And he's like in front of a billboard, and his moon and his head is like in the place where the moon would be. I don't under. I don't know about the character design that that wasn't in the YouTube videos and the, the three articles that I read about it, <laughs> but. Yeah, I would love to chat with the person who's like, yeah, let's give this guy a moon head, right? Awesome. That means night, right? But then the evening wear is the next step of that. They could re-up it and do a whole, like, astrological thing Mm -hmm. with the moon. (laughs) Yes. So, no, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, keep going. You got 10 minutes. Oh, okay. Um, well, the the button on this story is that when I was the marketing director for the Springfield Symphony Orchestra, I went to WGBY Studios in uh, Springfield, what is now uh, New England Public Media, and they were showing me where they like shoot all of the stuff because I didn't have access to cable very often as a little kid growing up, and public TV was my thing. So I was like like there for a meeting for something else and i was like can i please get a tour of your studios like show me everything i've always <laughs> wanted to like see the that's your guys studios here he brings me to the back corner of where they shoot like debates or whatever mm-hmm. and there's like all of like the old weird lighting systems where you have to like push buttons and pull buttons up and all that stuff on top of the fucking system the, the light system is a squishy mcdonald's toy and it's motherfucking mac tonight's head and i was like dude what is that how do you have that why do you have that he's like oh i don't know and there's just like <laughs> some you need to he's like she's been up there a while blah 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 and i was like this is mac tonight do you know about mac tonight and then i was like actually not going to monologue about mac tonight to this man who does not care so they sh- how do we how do we get it <laughs> how are we i was get literally it? going to ask him for it but i was like i've no, I don't. I don't need to do that. But I suspect it is still at the New England Public Media uh, Studios. Oh, you you work in like public media now. You might you might be there someday. Look in the top yeah. back corner where they shoot stuff on that little soundstage. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna take it. You should 100 percent take it. There, honestly, like if it, how it's not like it's. I could be like, here's a hundred dollars. Like, can I just have it? Like, <laughs> <laughs> here is a hundred thousand dollars. In fact, <laughs> I was a part of the short squeeze that happened last week. I made a hundred thousand dollars, and I was really? willing to spend it all. No, I was totally kidding. That was oh me my pretending. god! I some we're gonna meet. You know, we're gonna meet someone someday, though. That fits that description. Yeah, I thought about purchasing some Doge coin this morning, and then I reminded myself that. That's just not who I am. <laughs> like a very big leap in personality. Okay, question for you though. You brought up an interesting point of uh, of potentially bringing back the the meals and astrological signs, whatever. What would what would like a McDonald's menu look like in accordance to like different meals? Like if there was a Libra meal, if there was a uh... Virgo meal, if there was a Gemini meal. Like I've I've been described as a hard Gemini, quote end quote. And what um, do you get at McDonald's? Well, back when I was a consumer and enjoyer of animal products, I would get a I would pull up to the drive thru and it is a may I please have a McDouble, no onions, extra pickle, sub Swiss, add bacon. May I also have a McChicken, just as that comes, because there's no reason to fuck with perfection. Large fry, <laughs> um, Oreo McFlurry, add um, whipped cream, please. Wow. That's a great order. Yeah, I'm, I miss it dearly. I'm a, I'm a Nuggies person, if I'm honest. I like chicken nuggets. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'll get them anywhere, but I really, I don't know. I like Burger King better. Burger King is better. Yeah. I like yep. the long chicken sandwich. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> they should call it that. 
because <laughs> the, also their their chicken fries are really good too yeah yeah like what a smart idea you're already grinding it up and putting it into a shape why not and there's something about like the shape it is similar to this pencil just, like the shape and the way that you can just like r- put it in the back of your molars just like fucking immediately and just eat the whole fry in one in one munch I I can actually enjoy Burger King because Burger King has their Impossible Whopper, which is so fucking good. It's really good. I French had fries it. are so good. Impossible. Though there's no Whopper. substitute for their fucking Sunday milkshakes, though. Yeah. What's your favorite so fast good. food place, like across the board? The Taco Bell Pizza Hut located on Memorial Drive across from the McDonald's. Oh. Because you can get a cheese pizza, or you can get, if, if you're a meat enjoyer, then you can get a pepperoni pizza with breadsticks and then also get a uh, uh, cheesy bean and rice burrito and uh, Crunch Wrap Supreme. Yeah. Ooh. You can get it all in one place, and it's so good. Crunchwrap Supreme is, like, probably one of the most accurately named modern word, like, names for a thing. It's a crunch wrap, and it's supreme. <laughs> <laughs> it's the supreme. You are so correct about that. That is so true. Yep. So There's good. never been a more accurately named thing in the entire world. Yeah. I really like Sonic. Do you go to Sonic. Sonic is really fucking okay. Is there ever like not a legendarily long line for a Sonic or a Chick Fil A anywhere in the lower forty eight? Because anytime I drive past one, it's just like line all the way around, right? That's a good. Um, the Sonic that I went to when I lived like when I was in high school or whatever was always absolutely packed but i have been to the sonic in west springfield and it has Mm -hmm. not been that bad at times it's been pretty empty actually because it's Mm. in like the mini mall is that the one that's on riverdale road and it's right near the walmart yes nice yes i do know the one you're talking about yeah that one like has been not that full for me before but i love chili cheese tots really good idea Fucked up real yeah. good so good and like you can you can like there's just options for different experiences at a sonic as well like do i want to park and eat which is what i might have been doing anyway when i went through the drive through and then yeah. parked my car and ate it so instead of feeling shame about that action it is something <laughs> that is encouraged it's and written it's into the script yeah it's perfect love it Yes, Sonic is fantastic. Sonic is also like, it's on like the higher end of the fast food realm. Like price points a little bit higher, but you know you're getting something that's, you know, markedly better. Yeah, going to really satisfy. Or maybe not. I mean, it could like literally also be the exact thing. But (laughs) maybe my favorite fast food is going to the movie theater and getting whatever they serve at the movie theater i deeply miss that the springfield um is it an amc the it's an amc yep it's so good where they have the starbucks (laughs) they started serving pizza hut at that fucking place too and it was so good and i was still a dairy enjoyer at that time so i would get a large popcorn (laughs) i would get a large uh a large cherry coke and a fucking pizza and my disgusting ass would sit in that movie theater, hit the weed pen on the low, <laughs> watch the Avengers or whatever the fuck, and also Jewel. And Unreal. it was so sick. It was so great. Unreal. God damn. Unreal. I would get the pretzel bites with the cheese, the little nacho cheese. And then you just get, you know, you get like a... A little, because I don't like sugary drinks, so then I'll get like a Starbucks black iced tea and then a fucking oh, hot dog. Nice, and it's like nice. genius. Killing <laughs> it. That's a, that is, I have zero feedback for that order. That is fantastic. <laughs> and like the, the contrast between the like chewy, like almost gooey pretzel bite to the, the popcorn is like such a nice, it's like such a nice thing, especially if you're like a little bit high on thc or whatever the fuck it's like your body wants all that experience 
Do you ever do bunch of crunch with your popcorn? So yes, and that's another good one. That's like handful at the same time directly in the face for yeah. different yet similar textures. I've had friends be like, why do you do that? And I'm like, first of all, it says on the box that you should. So they're <laughs> telling me to do that. I'm just following the rules. <laughs> Second of all, it's so good. People are like chocolate and popcorn. I'm like, it's butter. And then basically just like, like popcorn, I feel like, it's kind of just, just like pasta, you know? Like, it's just fucking no. plain. You, you put stuff on it. Yep. And then butter and chocolate. It's, yeah. Okay, right. one final plug before I have to leave here, because yes. technically I'm working. South Hadley's <laughs> Tower Theater is at the Village Commons across from uh, Mount Holyoke College. Um, I used to sling popcorn and be a projectionist there. And they have the best popcorn in the Pioneer Valley by far. You can just swing by and buy some. It was popped with Hadley grown popcorn. They use mm -hmm. Cabot butter. They pop their popcorn with coconut oil. And what I used to do is I would take a medium bag of popcorn and I would fill it up halfway. Then I would take like the Chipotle chili salt and then add that to the popcorn, two pumps of Cabot butter, go back to the machine, add more popcorn, then on top of that, I would do nutritional yeast and just regular pepper and salt, and then two pumps of Cabot butter, shake it up, and then you have evenly distributed, decadent, wild popcorn. Highly recommend. Incredible. I'm going to get that as soon as I can, as soon as I physically can. Thank I think you so you much, can... John. Oh, yeah, go, ahead. Right. go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I was going to say, I think, I think you can do... A takeout vibe. I recommend calling them South Hadley Tower Theaters of the Village Commons. You can do a contactless pickup. Do it. I'll do and it. And thank you very much for hosting me on your birthday. Of um, course. Feel free to log out of the Zoom when you're ready. Thank you so I, much. This was I'm great. I'm log out right now. All right. Bye. Great to see Take you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>